Hey friends, welcome to Living It Country. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Christmas season. Today we have Tracy back from The Fake Farm Girl on Instagram. She is sharing her gorgeous home for the Christmas 2020 season and touring it for us here today. So without further ado, let's welcome her here today. Let me know in the comment section down below your favorite thing about her house and let's go ahead and get started. Hi everyone, I'm Tracy from The Fake Farm Girl. Welcome to my home. Um, I'm really excited to invite you in and show you our holiday home. Come on in. So one of the first places we'll go is into my living room. Um, this year, you'll notice I incorporated a lot of color. I normally do a red and white holiday, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it was 2020 or I was just craving change, um, but I really wanted something fun and colorful and whimsy. And so I'm really happy with how everything turned out. You'll see lots and lots of mercury glass. It's one of my favorite things. I love how it just catches all of the light and sparkles. I also love twinkle lights. I put them everywhere I possibly could. And of course, candles everywhere really make holiday um, come to life. I also really try to incorporate lots and lots of texture this year in my decor. Um, so lots of fur, um, just really, really cozy elements everywhere that I could. Again, you'll see lots and lots of mercury glass. I love how it pops. And then lots and lots of layers. My holiday mantle is by far one of my favorite mantles. I'm just obsessed with how it came out. Um, my inspiration for my holiday decor this year really started with this mushroom garland. Um, I saw it and it was, it was just so much fun and whimsy and I just absolutely loved it. And so it really inspired the rest of my decor. Again, lots and lots of texture in my stockings and then bottle brush trees and mercury trees and twinkle lights. I just love how everything came out. All of the different layers of garland just makes everything so cozy. Here's the other side of the mantle. I really love all of the different colors of the bottle brush trees and mercury glass. I thought that was really fun. And then here's our tree. One of the things that I really um, loved this year were all of the different mushroom ornaments that I was able to find. I've got so many different ones. I've got cloth ones, glass ones. I just think they're so much fun and added so much whimsy to my tree. I also loved these bottle brush ornaments. I love how they pick up all of the light on the glitter. And then you'll notice this little wooden garland with mushrooms on it. It's just all so much fun. I'll give you another view of the tree. Like I said, lots and lots of texture. I added a fur throw down at the base of the tree and you'll notice the tree is actually on a basket. Our um, presents are hiding that. And there's some more bottle brush trees. Come around this way you a view of lots of candles. We love candlelight. And then here's the other corner of the living room. I had to find a home for all of my house plants and so I created kind of a little cozy corner for all of my plants so they could get some good light. And then of course we made a little cityscape with trees up there and the word wall. This is one of the fun, cozy spaces in our home. We really enjoy having the word wall in here, coming up with different phrases that make us laugh. I think this little space is so fun and cozy as well. These trees um, are one of my favorite things. I just think they're so fun. I really love flocked trees. I think one year I'm gonna have to get an actual flocked tree. I'll come around here. And here's our entryway. Again, 
We kept it pretty simple this year. We keep all of our Christmas cards in this basket. And then here is my dining room. Again, you'll see cozy, lots of texture, lots of layers. I love layering garland. Candles always make a home so much more cozy. Not only do I love the color of the candles or the smell of the candles, but I love the candlelight as well. This tree I tried to keep really neutral. Um, just really fun. I loved these gold ornaments. I thought they were so pretty. There's another view of the garland. And then we'll come over here into the kitchen. Again, my kitchen decor I kept pretty simple. Just some bottle brush trees. Last year I had a garland above the window here. I'm kind of missing that. I actually might add that. And then I tried to do a cute little hot cocoa station here. So we've got our coffee and then Robbie has her hot cocoa. I just really worked to incorporate little, little bottle brush trees, little surprise and delights. I didn't want to go too overboard. I did want there to be some element of Christmas wherever you looked. There's another view. you into our rooms. We'll stop here at the bathroom. I do love doing Christmas in the bathroom. So again, a few trees in here. I love having candles. And we've got a little Christmas village there with some more trees. I thought it's a little cozy view in here. One of the things that is newer um, is this blanket rack. Richard built this for me. I love having throw blankets, and I'm always sad because I feel like I have to hide all of the cute blankets. So he built this fun rack for me, and I feel like it just is so cozy and cute. It's a fun little element. Okay, next I'm gonna take you into our guest bedroom. You can see I love the way this space is coming out. I'm still working on this space, but it's coming together and I really like it. It's cozy. It's a fun space for our guests to come and stay. And I really enjoy this tree. I'm working from home. And so this also is my office space. And so I really wanted to make sure that I had a space in here that also reflected Christmas it's fun to have my tree in the background. And then you can see my office space, the desk. This tree, all of the ornaments on this tree are Robbie's ornaments. So every year we let her pick out ornaments that we have on this tree in here. I think it's just fun. It's a fun family tree. I'll take you into the last bedroom, which is my bedroom. I've never had a Christmas tree in my bedroom. This is the first year and I'm enjoying it so much. I, I don't think I'll ever go without a tree in my bedroom again. I love the glow at night. It just really makes me happy. So you can see little pops of Christmas everywhere you look. I'll give you a close up of the tree. Also have some Christmas in the bathroom. Little fun pops of mercury lights, mercury glass. Everywhere you go, there's just a little Christmas. And that's it. That's my holiday home Christmas tour. I really tried to have it just be cozy, warm and inviting. Little pops of Christmas everywhere you look. I hope you enjoyed it. I love welcoming you into our home. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. We'll just do one more walkthrough. <laughs>